Yolanda got my matchsticks. Ugh, I hate her so much. Hi guys, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Saiba. And I am going to be doing another Fenty Beauty review. So I am officially the one millionth and one. So one million ones. One million and first person to be reviewing uh, Fenty Beauty products. I feel like everyone and their mom has come out with a review on Fenty Beauty. So first things first, I did not get the foundation and primer yet. I did get some samples. This will be my first time trying them out and this will make or break my decision to whether I will still get the primer and foundation. What I did get was the Matchsticks Matte Skin Stick. I got that product because it said that it can be a concealer, a foundation, your contour, or a highlight. And let me show you what I got. So I actually got a free Fenty Beauty pouch from Sephora. And also I also got a free tote bag. So I'm really glad that the sample included the primer. 150, 220, 340, and 420. So I could be either 150 or a shade in between 150 and 220. So I'll be trying out the primer and 150. So the instructions were to moisturize your skin before going in with a primer. And I always do that regardless. I don't really use primers a lot. I mostly just use moisturizer because I have normal to dry skin. Let's try this primer out. That's quite a lot of primer for the sample. It's light. Pink. I'm sure you've seen these all over. It feels very much like a moisturizer. I love that about it. It doesn't feel silicone at all. And it feels very lightweight. I do feel that yeah, I can minimize some of my pores. I don't have it doesn't really do a lot of blurring and pore refining and stuff. Just um, just a minimal amount. So let's go into the foundation now. Um, I'm trying out the shade 150. I'm just gonna smoosh my sponge directly on it. I still have enough product in this sample to do the rest of my face, but I want to see how that looks in the mirror first. Wow, I was shocked when I looked at myself in the mirror. It did not catch on to the dry patches, but it emphasized the pores that I didn't, I didn't even know I had here. So maybe I just, oh, there's a hair. Maybe I just need to blend it out more. But the finish itself is really, really beautiful. It's matte, but it's not like a dead matte. I can still see my pigmentation very clearly. As for the shade, I think I'm gonna need something more yellow. So let's see. So this is the side without foundation, and this is the side with foundation. I feel like on the monitor, I look very flawless, but I can still see my pigmentation and yeah, suddenly I have like four, four visible pores here that are never, ever visible on my other foundations. So for some reason, it went completely over and around my pores here, which is weird. Okay. Full face done. Now let's zoom you in on my face. The soft matte is really 
super flattering. It makes you look completely flawless. What's amazing about it is my nose is not cakey because I have dry patches on my nose. It's super unflattering. A lot of foundations like emphasize those. And this one, even though it's like completely matte, it doesn't. It did catch on to some peeling on my lips. But again, nothing unusual. Nothing that I did not expect. What I did not expect is that for it to look this good, even if it's a matte foundation. Now, I'm going to move on to the Matchsticks Matte Skin Stick. Okay, so for the skin stick, I did get the Matchsticks in French Vanilla. The package came in with a dent. Like, it was bent slightly and when it was pushed down some product stuck onto the tube so yeah i was disappointed with that but i'm not gonna return it because it's such a hassle to return it and it will take ages so i will just you know make do i'll take a photo of it so i can complain to sephora yolanda probably already use it on her face I watched all of the Fenty Beauty reviews that came up on my feed on YouTube, so I feel very prepared for this video. And now, this is supposedly very matte and um, not super easily blendable. So, yeah, I don't expect that I can just swipe it on and it will look flawless, but I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look very strange there. Yeah, it It's not that hard to blend at all. It's actually easy to blend, but it's stuck to the fine lines and it moved the foundation. Maisha of Sephora Pro recommends swiping it on the back of your hand and then breaking from that product instead of swiping it on directly. So I'm going to try that technique now to see if it will work better. Okay, So this is how it looks. Still a bit of cakiness there. I think it's definitely a no for the under eyes. Instead, I would just use it to highlight and maybe uh, as a foundation, but I won't use it on my under eyes. I would just use a regular concealer. Although, um, Jackie Aina did a trick where she used the skin stick on her under eyes and then layered with a, a liquid concealer over it which i do sometimes with uh, other highlights so i think it will work better that way when it's the base for your liquid concealer what i did on my other side on the other eye was apply with my finger from product on the back of my hand and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to use a sponge and apply it on the tops of my cheekbones if it will highlight better Yeah, that definitely worked better warming it on the back of your hand first and then taking a sponge or your fingers to apply it. So far, I like this only because I already know what to expect and how to use it. But if I were someone who did not watch or read reviews on how to use this and I'm not very experienced with working with cream products, um, I think I would skip this. Okay. All right, so I'm done with my makeup and this is the finished look. For the foundation, I really think that it was worth all the hype that it has been given. It was super flattering. It did not catch onto my dry patches as much as other matte foundations. So I got the matte without the flat. <laughs> so yeah, I think it was very, very good. And 
a little product goes a long long way like i didn't even finish up my entire sample there's still like a good um amount left here that i could probably have used for a second layer all over my face but i didn't feel like i needed to it did build up to a full coverage foundation on my pigmentation and it did not get cakey so wow amazing as i was doing my makeup i could see it settling in a bit more onto my skin and more of my natural oils and my natural glow showed through so i feel like it is a very very good formula i will definitely be getting the foundation but probably in a different shade hi guys so i'm back it is now 9 40 p.m so let's go over the claims it says long wearing it has definitely been long wearing i feel like it barely budged on my face airy and lightweight i couldn't feel it on my skin at all throughout the day it felt like i have i was wearing just a bit of makeup when i put a lot of makeup actually buildable coverage medium to full very easily yes i agree matchsticks doesn't apply that easily but blends really well you just have to use the right technique not sure if it's worth it if you are not used to using cream products then i wouldn't suggest the matchsticks but if you love cream products you will like the matchsticks and if you have oily skin i'm sure you would like the matchsticks as well while i was applying the foundation i did think of a foundation that applies almost the same on me except it was way way cheaper if you do not want to shell out the box for a fenty beauty foundation i feel like you would get the same effect with a maybelline fit me matte plus poreless very easily um i feel like nobody would be looking at my skin and saying oh you're wearing you're wearing fenty you're wearing maybelline like i i don't think i would be able to tell if I had just been wearing the right shade with a Fenty Beauty. So yeah, it's a, I feel like Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Pore is a good dupe. Although it doesn't have the same texture. It has the same effect. But it doesn't have the same ingredients definitely. So yeah. those are my thoughts on the Fenty Beauty products that I tried today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!